The next video that we have in this um, section is on the metric system and metric conversions. For your metric system and metric conversions, we're actually going to look at um, why we use the metric system, uh, why the English or the imperial system is not so good, and also how to convert between different metric units. So the metric system is actually a great system of measurement because it actually uses the number 10. Um, everything is based off of the number 10. The units can get larger or smaller just by moving decimal places around. And you don't have to remember things like there are 12 inches in one foot or there's 5,280 feet in one mile. Um, things that are all frustrating for um, people that are converting between the imperial system. So just a little bit of background about the imperial system. I have this little thing here. And this is called a ruler. Um, the ruler was actually based off of the ruler of the country. With the ruler of the country, um, they would measure the length of the ruler's foot, and that is the length of the ruler. Um, so this is one foot because it was the foot of the king, um, or queen, I guess. But when they got a new king, they had a different size foot, so they had to get a new ruler, which means they had a new system of measurements. Now inside of the ruler we have inches. Inches was actually the width of the king's thumb. So we would take whatever width that was. It might have been bigger, it might have been smaller. So we didn't always have 12 inches in one foot, depending on the length of the foot and the width of the thumb. They also took the king to the yard. And when they took the king to the yard, they had him measure out one pace. Um, that was foot to foot. And that, it, the one yard, um, foot to foot, that is one pace of the king. So again, it was different. Um, from there, thousand paces, that's equal to one mile. So that's where we get all these weird numbers. 12 inches in one foot, 5,280 feet in one mile, three feet in one yard. They're all crazy, crazy, crazy numbers. Now with this metric system, or what's called the International System of Measurements now. Um, it has a new name. The um, SI system or the metric system is based off of the magic number 10. With that magic number 10, that allows us to move around decimal places in order to go between grams and kilograms or centimeters and meters, um, millimeters to centimeters, things like that. So we do use the metric system in science classes um, because the rest of the world uses it. There were two countries left um, other than the United States that were using the imperial system with us. However, they've bailed. Um, they are currently moving over to the imperial system. From the imperial system, sorry, to the metric system. That leaves the United States as the only country that doesn't use the metric system. So I have a video clip embedded in here, um, in your notes. It's on this slide right here. So when you go back through the notes or as you're going through the notes, watch this. Um, and it's just kind of why um, the United States isn't changing, but it basically boils down to, as a spoiler alert, we're stubborn. Um, with your metric units, I'm actually gonna switch over to my document camera at this point. And as I switch over to my document camera, um, we're going to look at some of the metric units. And we're going to look at the base units first. For your base units, we have the meter, we have the liter, we have the gram, and we have the second. Um, now with these four different units, we're going to use more of them as we go through the year, but these are the basic um, base units, basic base units, um, that we are going to use. The meter is how you measure distance. So on a ruler, like on this side, you have centimeters and millimeters. The meter measures distance, how you know, long is something. Liter is used to measure out volume. So like a two liter bottle of soda, that's how much liquid fits inside of the bottle. The gram is used for mass. So you might've heard of kilograms before, milligrams, micrograms, if you're a pharmacy type person. Um, so the gram is used to measure out um, mass. And then second is time, like you've heard before. Um, so you have like milliseconds um, if you're a track person. 
things like that. Um, so these are the base units. I'm going to put a box around this. You can make the base units larger or smaller based off of um, adding a prefix onto it. So going back to some English classes, um, you have like something that you would put in front of the word meter. So like a kilometer would have a kilometer. That's a prefix that you put in front of it. Base units are all by themselves. They don't have anything with them. So with your base units, um, in order, the larger of them, you have a kilo, hecto, and deca. So kilo, hecto, deca. Let me write this this way so you guys can see it a little bit better. The smaller units, when you want to make them um, tinier, you have deci, centi, and milli. Now, writing them in this order in your notes, I know that's on the other screen, but on your notes, you have a sentence to help you with this order. It's also on your reference sheet, so you won't actually have to memorize this order. Um, but the order that you put it in is K, H, D, King, Henry, died, buy is base, drinking, chocolate, milk. Now, if you notice, there are two letter D's here. This was a capital D, this is a lowercase d. It's because both of them start with the letter D. Um, so if you have a capital D, that's a deca. Lowercase d is deci. We have King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. And what we can do with this information is we can go between one unit to another um, by adding those prefixes on. So what I mean is if you have something like CL. C is centi. L, oh, I guess I should tell you that. You have meter, liter, gram, and second. Sorry, I've left that information out. Um, L is liter. So this is a centa liter. If you have something like um, KG, K is kilo. A G is a gram, so you have a kilogram. So as we look at these different prefixes, again, these are prefixes. This is all by itself. You can go between one unit to another just by knowing this order. So when we look at our example problems, it says the same thing in the same thing. I've already said this. Okay. So our first practice problem tells us that we want to go 2,500, nope, 25,004 centimeters, and we want to go to hectometers, not liters. And then the other one, I have 0 0.00012 KL, and I want to go to liters. I'm just writing these down so I have them, so I can go to the other screen. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my document camera again. Um, so I just scribbled down the three practice problems. And what you do is you start with the decimal place that's in the number. So just like with the scientific notation, this actually has a little ghost decimal right there. This is starting at centi. So as we start at centi on this one, I'm going to start right here. I want to go to hecto, which is down here. So to use this chart, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk, I'm going to move my decimal place the same direction, the same number of places. So one, two, three, four times. I'm not really going where the decimal place lives. I'm kind of going in the middle of the uh, number there. But I'm moving my decimal place one, two, three, four times this way. Same direction, same number of places. So start with my original decimal place. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. So my answer here is 2.5004 hm. So this, the centi, which is pretty small, is the same as 2.5004 hm hectometers, which is a very large unit. When we look at the next one here, I have 0 0.00012 kiloliters. So this one I'm going to start here. And I'm going to end at liters, just it's all by itself. So that means that I'm going to end right here at base. 
So again, I'm gonna move my decimal place one, two, three times. This time I'm going that way with my decimal. So I'm gonna start with my original decimal place and again I move one, two, three times. So my answer down here is 0.12 liters. Move your decimal place the same direction, the same number of places. Now this one I have three lowercase d, lowercase d is deci, and I'm going to deco, which is capital D. So on this one I'm going to start right here at deci, I want to end down here at deca, so I'm going to move my decimal place one, two times this way, one, two. So again I'm going to start here with my decimal place, it's currently after the number three, I'm going to go one, two times, so your answer is 0.03 decameters. So whenever you're using this chart, you're going to move your decimal place the same direction, the same number of places. When you look at the chart, a kilometer is like a mile. It's really, really, really big. And it basically goes by tens. So if this is one, there's ten decameters in one meter. If you move over again, hectometer, it would be a hundred. So there's a hundred hectares, sorry, a hundred meters in one hectometer. For a kilometer, that would be a thousand. So there's a thousand meters in one kilometer. Going this way, if I use grams, um, there's for your gram, again, if this is one, you would divide that by 10, and there would be 10 grams in one, sorry, 10 decigrams in one gram. Um, if you have your centigram, you'd have a hundred and a milli is a thousand. So this way you're dividing by 10, this way you're multiplying by 10. So these are large, capital letters. These are smaller, they're lowercase letters.